السلام عليكم اتس جيان شويكاني اي بي اكسبلينينغ يو تو ديت شابتر 10 اباوت الديهايدز اند كيتونز بارت 1 ات ذا اند اوف ذيس فيديو وي هاف تو كفر ثري اوبجيكتيفز ذا فيرست وان از تو ريكوجنايز الديهايدز اند كيتونز ريجاردينغ ذير فانكشنال جروب اند ذير جنرال فورمولاز ذا سيكند وان از تو ابلاي ذا اي او باك رولز تو نيم الديهايدز اند كيتونز ذا ثيرد وان از تو ايدينتيفاي ذا تايبس اوف ايزوميرزم ان الديهايدز اند كيتونز So let's start by aldehydes. As you uh, saw in chapter 8 regarding functional group, aldehydes are organic compounds that bear, bear it means they carry a carbonyl group, which is CO, C double bond O, that is connected to at least one hydrogen atom. This is very important for aldehyde. What does that mean? Let's look at the general formula to understand. These are the general formula. Let's start by CNH2NO. You know that this general formula CNH2NO is for aldehydes having linear, it means non-cyclic and saturated carbon chain. But as we said, this year we have to study only or we have to deal only with aldehydes having linear and saturated carbon chain. So we have the right to use this as general formula for aldehydes. Now, this is uh, the more general formula, which is RCHO. Here also, I will remind you again about this remark that when you have to write this, you have to, to respect the order. It means you have to write RC and after C, H and O and never OH. Because if you write OH, it will be as the hydroxyl group of alcohol. While here for aldehyde, we have to write it CHO to understand that this is for aldehyde. This RCHO written here in the structural way <clears throat> will show us that here is the carbonyl group. Here is the hydrogen that is <clears throat> terminal. This is why we said that OH, CO, sorry, is connected to at least one hydrogen atom. And here is the alkyl group. What about the nomenclature according to IUPAC? According to IUPAC, we, know, we know that the name of aldehydes derive from that of alkenes as all organic compound. So all what we have to, to do is to compare the chain, the carbon chain of the aldehyde with, the, with that of the alkane having the same main carbon chain and we have to drop the final e here from the name of alkane and to replace it by a so the name of aldehyde will be simply alkanal alka will change according to the carbon chain and this al will stay for all aldehydes let's consider this example look here this is a molecule of aldehyde and here is the main carbon chain that is circled pay attention that the carbon bearing the uh, carbonyl group it means has to be definitely in this chain in that in this chain second we have to start numbering look the carbon of the carbonyl group actually has to given to be given the smallest number and in case of aldehydes it will be always one because as we said it is here terminal okay this is carbon number one three four and five so the name will be as you can see three ethyl three methyl don't forget that we have to respect the alphabetical order in naming this is why we have to name ethyl that starts by e before methyl that starts by four for phenyl pentanal what is phen phenyl it is c6h5 it means it is the benzene ring when it is in the form of uh, a branch so pay attention to the word phenyl for c6h5 another example to give name of aldehyde always as you can see the carbon of the carbonyl group has to have the number one and here is the numbering so the name will be for chloro also here chloro pay attention it starts by c so according to the alphabetical order it has to be given for to be named it means first so for chloro 55 five diethyl as you can see here is an ethyl here is an ethyl 36 here is a methyl on carbon 3 here is a methyl on carbon 6 dimethyl heptanal now let's move to ketones by definition, ketones are organic compounds that bear also a carbonyl group, but it has to be connected to two alkyl groups. And ketones cannot have less than three carbon atoms. 
Their general formula is the following, CNH2NO, as you can see, this is the same as that of aldehyde, but this, pay attention, the carbonyl group CO here is inserted between two alkyl groups, and this is the structural formula of the general formula of ketones, as you can see, here is the carbon with the carbonyl group, having one alkyl from this side and another alkyl from this side. Regarding their name, the name of ketones end with the suffix on, so they will be named alkanone, and as we said, alkan will change, will change according to the number or to the carbon chain. Let's give some examples about the nomenclature. Here, for example, a propanone. What is the structure of propanone? As you can see, we have the three carbon atoms, and look at the carbonyl group is inserted here between one alkyl group and another alkyl group. Look now at two pentanone. Pentanone, it means we have five carbon atoms in that chain. The carbonyl group in this case is attached to carbon number two. This is why it's important to mention here too, because look at three, sorry, look at butanone. This is butanone with carbon four. And look at three pentanone. Three pentanone here, the single difference between two pentanone and the three pentanone is the carbonyl group. Here it is attached to carbon number two, and here it is attached to carbon number three. This is why it's important here to mention these numbers. Why? Because the number of carbon in the carbon chains is greater or it's more than five. As you can see, these two molecules are positional isomers because the same functional group occupies here the position two and here the position three. Why here no need to mention the number because we don't have another possibility for the carbonyl group to be on this carbon or here the same. Pay attention, even if this carbonyl group is written here, it would be the same, it would be in the position two. So it is the same. So in general, if the carbon chain has a number of carbon atoms less than five, the position of the functional group not necessary to be mentioned according to the IUPAC, while if n is greater than five, the position has to be mentioned. Let's do also here some application. Give the IUPAC name of the following compound. I will ask you to do a pause here and to try with this. So the solution is, let's start numbering. This is the carbon number one. This is carbon number two, four, and here pay attention to this. Look, what do we have to do? We have to cancel this two, and we have to write as if we have two methyl group attached both to the carbon number five. So the name will be three, as you can see, three ethyl, four, five, dimethyl, hexanal. Another example, also do a pause, try to solve it. And here is the solution. The following thing. The third example. Also do again a pause. Here is the solution. Now, the last objective is about aldehydes and ketones regarding the isomerism. Aldehydes have only two types of isomers, either functional or skeletal. We don't have positional. Why? Because the carbonyl group in aldehydes is always in that to the extremity to be attached to one hydrogen atom, as we said. While ketones have three types of isomers that are functional, skeletal, and positional. Aldehyde and ketones of the same main carbon chain are functional isomers one with respect to the other. The last application here is to write the possible condensed structural isomers of C5H10O. Second, to give the name of all the possible isomers according to the IUPAC. And finally, to specify the skeletal isomers and the positional isomers. Here is a pause, after which do it on a scratch paper and then check your answers. Here is the solution. And here are the names. This is the solution of the third part. And don't forget that aldehydes have no positional isomers. Here, I will ask you again to do a pause and to, to know what you have to do on the agenda. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.